Great, you guys stayed back. All right, so now I'm going to show you the code, a more complex code on how to have three lives and when your life reaches zero, the game will be over. All right, okay, it's not that difficult. There's a little bit more to go. Bear with me. All right, first click on your bottom sprite, okay, over here. We're going to uh, create a new variable, a variable is under here. Click on variable and here, the top here called make variable. Let's just call it life, L-I-F-E, okay. Okay, so we're going to start. When the game starts, we want to give uh, the player three life. So you use a set life, set life to three, three, okay. This is uh, what we call in programming language, defining your variable, okay. We define it as three, okay. So now, whenever the ball touches the bottom uh, of the screen, we want to minus one life, okay. So we use this block called change life by one, okay. Change life by one is to add a life every time it touches it. Now we want to reduce, so we put minus one, okay. All right, so the last thing we need to do is when the life counter reaches zero, zero, okay, what we want it, what we want to do is to trigger the game over state, okay? All right, so now, as you can see, when the, when the ball is touching the bottom sprite, the life will be reduced by one, okay? We need to add another, we need to add another, if statement okay okay here okay if variable if life is equals to to zero okay so we need to use the operator here the green color block operator we need to select the uh, equals symbol there's a blank equals 50 put a life in there okay so now what we want to do is we want to do when life equals zero okay click on this put zero all right okay put it in here so if the life is zero what are we gonna do we're gonna trigger the game over state okay that's it code is very simple let's give it a go okay so the ball is moving okay we're just gonna let it move around i look up here there is a value of your life now it's got uh Two life only. Wonder why? Oh, something started off at the bottom, touching. Oops. Okay, game over. Okay, let me start again. Okay, stop. The ball must be in the air when it starts. So now there's three lives. Okay. Okay. Now it's moving. It's moving. Hit the wall. Hit the bottom. Toop. Oh, it hits twice. Okay. And then let me just finish game off. Okay, so what happened is um, it changes the life. It touches the bottom quickly. It's like it touches the bottom twice, okay? So we're going to add um, what we call a weight here. So we won't, uh, we won't deduct the life immediately, okay? Put a zero point, maybe say three seconds. Okay, let's give it a go. Okay, life is three up here. Look, touches the bottom. Minus one. Okay, good. So we got uh, two more lives to go. Let me just uh, move the pedal to the side. Oh, oh, okay. Two. Life is one. Okay. And there you go. Game over. Okay. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and the series to make the, to make the Atari breakout game. I'm going to give you a task in the next video for those who want, who wants to make your game even better. Stay on for the next video.